one, two, three, four. How many roads must a man walk down before you call him a man? How many seas must a white dove sail before she sleeps in the sand? Times must the cannonballs fly before they're forever banned. The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. How many years can a mountain exist before it's washed? Can some people exist before they're allowed to be free? How many times can a man turn his head and pretend that he just doesn't see? The answer, my friend, is blowing in. suffering from austerity, from privatizations, from massive cuts in welfare benefits. In our country, the disabled are having their benefits withdrawn. It's not, it's, it's quite common to hear people who cannot, can hardly stand being forced to work for their benefits. And now people are being forced to work for nothing, or they get all benefits withdrawn. Homelessness is massively on the increase. Housing benefits are being withdrawn. The health service is collapsing. The multinationals are running the hospitals in many cases. And every sign of a civilized society that we established 50 years ago is being ripped apart. This is across Europe. This is not in not my country, your country. This is across Europe. And the the massive question that we have to answer is how do we how do we resist? We have to build a political alternative, and organised unions like USB are hugely valuable in that. As are other unions, as are the Occupy movement, as are squatters movement. Every local movement that defends a health service, that defends a school, that defends a community facility, every organization is important. And I think we have to be wary of the dangers. Um, we have, uh, in our country, um, we have um, a, a big party that is known as the centre-left. Now, I, 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 I don't know if you have the same problem. <laughs> To me, there is no centre left. You, you, either, you either support austerity, you support privatisation, you support subcontracting, you support the, the involvement of big corporations in every aspect of our daily life, or not. Now the centre left say they support all those things, but they do it more slowly. Well, if you're going to get strangled, you might as well get strangled fast and slowly, yeah? <laughs> In fact, as we know to our cost, um, there is a difference between this, this, what they call the centre-left and the hard-right. But it's, n it's not a difference of principle, it is a difference of timing. And um, um, I, I think what we have to do is to fight for a new economic model. Because 
the neoliberal model will never provide a dignified life for all its citizens. There will always be mass unemployment. We cannot organize our collective will democratically under a neoliberal regime. So we, 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 must, we must find an alternative model. And for me, it is based on planning and on common ownership. Because, because, because you, you, you cannot plan what you don't own. And if we don't plan, then the rules of the market dictate that we are in permanent chaos. There's one other massive reason that we need to plan, and it is that the ecology of the world is collapsing. And if, if, we don't, if we don't plan it, there will be no viable planet, there will be no viable Earth for, our, for future generations to inhabit. So it's not only for the short term we need to fight for jobs for people like Federico, but we need to fight for the future of our children and our grandchildren. And, every, and that means, how do we do it? I think that means defending, every, fighting against every wage cut. It means fighting against every job loss, every closure of factories or hospitals. And you've shown the way. And that's what makes it so exciting to be here, because you're showing us how to do it. Can I, can I finish by saying that um, it's very nice to get prizes from film festivals um, and I don't treat it lightly. Uh, it would be an honour for everyone involved in our films um, to, to have that. But there's one prize we all share and that's to be part of this struggle. So this is a great prize for me.